All right, so the continuing saga of my motorcycles. I sold my Hawk DLX. It was just repetitive. I, I didn't need it. I had a DRZ 400 and I never rode the Hawk. Uh, I had it for like five months and put 300 miles on it. So sold that and went and took the money. I got 1800 for the Hawk. I went and spent, I got this uh, 86 Goldwing Aspen Cade for $1,500. It's got 48,000 miles on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been great so far. I just rode it 250 miles today to our beach property on the Pacific Ocean. And it did great, got 46 miles to the gallon, did some twisties, did a lot of highway, freeway, two lane. It was awesome. So it's an 86 Aspen Cade. It wasn't the real fancy one. Um, it just had the stereo, it doesn't have cruise control. It's got the uh, compressor, the air suspension which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. This will be a winter project to put it all back to really, really nice condition. Um, it's all there. It runs really, really well. A few scratches here and there, but really not that bad. I took steel wool to the uh, all the chrome and shined it up pretty good. It's got almost brand new tires on it. The grips were foam and they were gone, so I had to put new grips. Uh, that's a sheepskin from Ikea, uh, they're called Wrens, and they're like 30 bucks, and I've had it for 10 years, they still sell them, and they're awesome. Underneath this is an Airhawk copy, which has made the world a difference. I can't believe I went for all these years without one. So this is a homemade backrest. I'm a cheapskate, everybody that knows me knows that. This cost zero dollars, took me an hour to build, and it's super, super strong. I mean, you can wiggle the whole bike. So what it is, it's got carpet on the bottom, so it doesn't mar the seat. This board here hits the trunk with carpet, so it can't go backwards. The bungees hold it so it can't come up, and it works absolutely fantastic. Um, I am gonna get some black bungees because those look kind of honky. Hokey, I should say. Uh, yeah, so it's all there. Uh, seat was in great shape. Um, Boxes are in great shape. The radio doesn't work, but it's not because of the radio. It just, it's not getting any power to the to the radio, so I gotta figure that out. Um, like I said, tires were almost new. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, wow, what can I say? It's great. I uh, needed a windshield. The windshield was so bad you couldn't see through it. I about died on the way home from when I bought it, trying to see over it and around it. It was really terrible. So it's got a new slip streamer windshield. Uh, that floorboard uh, highway peg was messed up, so I had to rebuild it and modify it and get it to work, and it works great. Battery tender. Um, guy changed oil right before I bought it. So uh, yeah, that's it. It's uh, So far, it's been really, really good. I've just been cleaning it up and fixing minor things. I think it may have a... Uh, Hydraulic clutch slave cylinder, a little bit of a leak. I've only seen it drip a couple times since I've had it, but I'm, that's what it is. So that'll be another winter project. I'm just gonna go through it and get everything working, get everything all the way it should be and uh, either keep it or sell it next year because I really want a 1500, but this works so well, I may just keep it. So, yep, 86 Goldwing, 1500 bucks, and it's awesome. Adios.